Okay, so, you know, resumes are, you know, they're kind of a freeform thing. No one's going to ever really double check on what part you've played. So it's okay to lie on your resume. I mean, just, just a little bit, just a little bit. So, like, you know, if you played, oh, I don't know, grandma Seidel in Fiddler on the Roof, you know, just take off the grandma and then you got Seidel. Boom. You're one of the three daughters. You're in Matchmaker. You are one of the stars now. So that's how you make a resume. Now, you can embellish some of your special skills, like, um... Like, Tommy, I know that you are really good at, like, um, you know, rolling your tongue, right? Yeah. 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 There you go. Mm -hmm. So you can exaggerate that to say that you speak five different languages. And then if there's other shows, you can just, you know, sometimes I just like to make up a show. Like the, uh, the Cheddar Cheese Brigade. That was not a real show, but it sounds good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> when our teachers show that level of dedication... <sighs> There is a real Reagan-esque trickle-down effect. It proves that here at West Covina Central Middle, no child will be left behind. You know, you can fudge kind of your, you know, how you look. I mean, I, I well, I, I do weigh 98 pounds, but, uh, well, we don't need to get into that. So exciting news, um, I don't know if you heard, but Kendra decided to be in the talent show. The whole thing has finally come together, I mean we haven't obviously done the performance, but we were worried for a while, but it's sort of, it's just sort of coming together, it's like when you bake cookies and it just, it just bakes. I think the best part of this variety show is, you know, the kids are really going to be able to be themselves. Um, I love theater, don't get me wrong, but there's something to be said for a raw and unique performance. You know, we're not doing Beethoven's Fifth or, or Guys and Dolls for the ninth millionth time. But of course, any variety show wouldn't be complete without a, a strong captain steering the ship. She's brought sort of a I want to say a, a Sondheimness to to the musical department. Eh, well, you know, even though the idea of a talent show or variety show is just so done to death and embarrassingly unimaginative, it is embarrassingly a word. That doesn't mean the show can't be good. You know, the kids, the kids are great, and you know, there's there's some potential there.
the kids are opening the show with Give My Regards to Broadway by George N. Cohan. Public domain! You cannot beat that stuff, I'm telling you. And they look pretty great. You know, their box steps are really coming together. We worked, we worked on them for a long time, probably, you know, three hours yesterday. If they're hard, but uh, it's, it's going to be great. They are going to just blow the whole audience away. It's worth it. I mean, once you learn a box step, you are never going to forget it. Even if it takes three hours to learn. Those are grueling hours, but you know what? I am a dedicated teacher. I'm dedicated to box steps. Well, I mean, they're a metaphor for life, really. Uh, I mean, once you've accomplished a box step, there's nothing you can't do. I mean, it's, it's arguably one of the hardest, you know, square-shaped steps you can do. I was trying to actually... Um, I was trying to get the kids to play piano because we have a couple, uh, a couple of good piano players. But because um, I actually wanted to try maracas in the back, um, you know, make it a little more multicultural. Oh, but 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 the best thing, the best thing about it is that at the end of the show, we will be premiering a brand new song that I have co-written. I'm going to be performing a song from one of my many side projects. You know, I, I always come up with ideas for musicals. You know, I read a book and I think. This would be a great show. Um, Confederacy of Dunces, the musical, that was one of my tossed off ideas. It's true, like, the kids have to learn by watching people more talented than them. And I think that's really going to help them grow, watching me. It's the great, big, splashy finale. <sighs> I mean, you always have to save the best for last, right? <laughs> like, we're going to we're gonna do like Kimberly and Viviana's little like tap number <laughs> or Diego's little Bruno Mars song <laughs> please okay so then it goes to baby 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 ooh and then we have baby 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 ooh and then we <laughs> okay all right okay people cell phones and iPads away okay I swear if I see one more of you playing shadow gamer minesweeper craft I'm gonna take your iPad and I'm going to crush it with my car or put them away. I don't want to see any more of them. If I see someone fruit ninjaing one more time, I'm going to fruit ninja that iPad with an actual ninja sword. I have them at home, okay? If I see one more person playing Minesweeper craft, well, I don't even know what that is, but you know what? It doesn't belong in this room. I'm going to take your iPad and I'm going to throw it against the wall to prove a point. You think I'm kidding? No. Okay, Franklin, if you see any of them, Mitch, Mitch, I see you. If he takes that iPad out again, I want you to take it and I want you to take it away from him. Just take it away from him. Uh, uh, what do you want me to do? Take the iPad and just throw it in the drawer upstairs. I can get it later. Uh, I, I, I can't touch it. What do you mean you can't touch it? With the iPad? I can't, I, I can't touch it. Oh yeah, there were some crazy times. I was there for the worst of it. Franklin had, Franklin has, quite an affliction. We came to learn it's categorized as a psychological impulse control disorder, or gamer's syndrome. We're technically not listed as an addiction. Oh, but believe me, it's hell. Yeah, I, I had to hide his consoles from him whenever I could, and he would still find more. I mean, he has a real, real problem. I He's really lucky that he still has a job. But he's better now. He's, he's in check, you know? And I trust that he will never revert back to that state. No, never like that again, because, wow. He really needed somebody who could just understand and, and warm up his dark light. And what's better? I mean, who is better to do that than a cheerleader, right? So as a stipulation for returning to school, um, I had to sign a contract stating that I wouldn't touch any iPads or, or consoles um, that I could, I could play a game with. But, you, you know, it, it's, it's going, going good. <laughs> that, that's a private matter between Mr. Hendricks and the county school board. I'm not at liberty to talk about that.
your brother tell you to say that? Well, as far as I know, she could have been sick. Okay, well, uh, I actually have a really great song for you, and I think it would be perfect for the opening gala for the auditorium. What do you think, huh? Sure. Here, take a look at it. Okay. Follow along with me. We can work on it right now, okay? Great. Okay. Start right here. One, two, three, 